Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Five Days a Stranger. Okay, so we've spoken with you, uh, hand you, I you, uh, foot you, and bubble you, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way now before things get too awkward. Unless they already have, then I'm pretty much fucked anyway. The water is deep and smells strongly of chlorine. Okay, that's... There is a blurry shape visible in the water, but I can't tell what it is. Perhaps if the pool were drained. Uh, sure. Now how do we drain the pool? That's the bigger question. How do we drain pool? Ooh, a stick. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. I want, I want stick. Pick up sticks. Wow. Haven't we heard this already? I don't even know. Open doors. I want all the doors open. All the doors. All right, I'm satisfied. <laughs> No! ALL THE DOORS! Fuck you, Trilby. ALL the doors! Hey, Jim! What's that? Nothing new in here. I don't think there's much to explore in there anyway. So just a heads up, I did get a little bit in, but I was having a hard time with something and enraged and didn't want to show that off, so... I'm pretty much almost to the extent where I was anyway, just, like, in here. All right, get books about Defoe family. The freaking a map is always handy. Yes, it is. Let's see, use article stick. Use stick. Use the stick. Use the grolly. All right. Oh. Oh, use the stick on me. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, use the family history on me. Let's read it. I don't want to use that on myself. I don't. I want to read it. Fine. Look at it. A History of the Defoe Family, Volume 8. Roderick Defoe, late Sir Roderick Defoe, is probably the most famous of the lineage. Using a lot of the inheritance he, attend he attained when his parents died suddenly, he embarked on a series of adventures throughout the globe, earning quite a reputation as a colonial... Explorer. He retired from adventuring at the age of 40 when he met his future bride, Belinda Rothman, and fell instantly in love. He built a luxury manor in the English countryside, and the couple moved in as soon as work was complete. By the fact that I forgot to turn that off, hold on. Always gets in the way. What made Belinda's sudden death while giving birth to their only son, Matthew, all the more tragic. Sir Roderick was in mourning for a long time, leaving the upbringing of Matthew in the hands of numerous nannies and tutors. Great, because people love those. Well, it depends on the one, really. Nowadays, they're not that bad, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't know. You guys tell me. Are nannies good or bad? Question of the day. <laughs> when he finally did start taking on interest in his son, he was known to be bitterly disappointed as his son rejected the idea of joining the army. 
preferring to pursue art and literature. I condone that. I think that's a good idea. As Matthew neared the age of 15, however, he and his father seemed to grow closer. They didn't always see eye to eye, but they seemed to understand each other and offer unconditional love. And then, on Matthew's 15th birthday, he and, S and Roderick disappeared. A servant found blood stains in one of the rooms, but no bodies were found. That's just weird. The fate of Sir Roderick and his wayward son remains a mystery. To this day, apparently I can't say things in a specific speed. Oh well. The first of many mysterious disappearances connected to the Defoe line and the family house. Well, alright. So, uh, clickety click. Use freaking. What's the plan? Wait, no, 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 don't. Talk to the plan! Speak the plan! No? Okay. Look at the plan. It's a very old architectural plan of Defoe Manor. Wow! That's very, uh. There's something odd about this map. Like, that. it's like I didn't do anything. I can hear stuff in the background. No, it's not that. There's something... Would you slow down? Something I don't recall seeing in the... Slow down! Ah! Okay. Maybe I can show that to, uh... What's-his-bucket. <laughs> I don't remember names! He is this way. Hey, Jim. Hearty. Mr. Philip Hearty. Let's go this way. This way! Hi. Speak. No, speak. You know what? Screw it. Just show him. Use the frickin'. Or I just can't go down. That works too. Oh, duh, the plans. Duh, use the plans on Phil. Hey, Phil. Got something for you. Hey, Mr. Hotty. I found this old map in the library. Did you? Take a look. The tomb is quite clearly under the front. But this is the backyard. There's no way. Sucks, doesn't it? Well, I guess that's my ex escape plan out the window. Thanks a bunch, buddy. Don't mention it. Seriously, don't. I don't want to be thrown under the bus. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh my god! Rude! Rude! I, I don't want to be thrown under the bus. Why the hell not? Rude! Now, if you guys do actually want to read what he said, go ahead. <laughs> Just pause and read it, I suppose. I'm pretty sure I know what he said. It's just, can I... I have the freaking... I don't know. Yep, metal detector. I kind of figured I use metal detector. I wouldn't know where to begin. Oh, right. Yeah. I think I know. I, I might. I don't know. Okay, use... Use! Metal detector. On this thingamabobber. I can track where the pipeline leads with the metal detector. Yes, and... Whoa, okay. I ain't in control, bruh! Trail ends here. What's inside the frickin'... Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Buddy! 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 Buddy friend boy! 
dirt. It's a small amount of dirt, which the pipeline under the lawn is apparently leading to. All right. Let's dig in the dirt. And what have we here? Philip's laboring must have covered this up. Push the panel! Push the panel! Well, that didn't seem to do anything. Alright, I guess we're done here. Uh, water's drained. Not particularly sure who did that, but water's drained. AJ! Oh! Hi, you're the- Okay! This is definitely the man I met on the landing. Presumably AJ. Looks like someone tied him to an iron hook. Okay. But I think he was dead before that. His throat's been split- Ugh. Okay, that's not what I'm- Ugh, but- Ugh. Uh, guys? Dead? How? Murdered. He was stabbed to death, then tied to the bottom of the pool. Oh my god. You know what this means, don't you? We are all the, well, we are the only ones here. The killer has to be one of us. Why would you keep saying this? Not necessarily. I don't think any of us could engineer. Shut up! It was you, wasn't it? You killed AJ, and now you're covering your tracks. Fuck you! No, I'm not! Why would Trilby tell us where the body is if he... Yeah, that's true. He's covering his tracks. He was the last... He was the last to arrive. Don't tell me you're not a bit suspicious of him. Uh... Look, what happened to AJ was a terrible thing. But if we let it tear us apart, we could all go the same way. He's got a point, Philip. Oh, I see. You're all in on this together. Philip! Shut up. As far as I'm concerned, there's no one I can trust anymore. From now on, it's every man for himself. Wow. Fuck you too, dude. Philip! Idiot! He's shaken. We all are. So, what do you think? About AJ, I mean. I'm really not sure. I think we are being haunted. Oh? Well, at least someone's keeping their head. Look, I'm not exactly in love with such an unscientific idea as a murderous ghost, but nothing other than the supernatural could have engineered this situation. And this house has a bad history. I have literally just read that. The history, I think it's time I started. I, I already did! I think I'm going to look into AJ's death with a slightly more sensible attitude. Where's Jim? Someone should tell him about AJ. I'll go look for him. Okay, sorry, I was looking away. I didn't get the chance to... Father! Jim? Jim, is that you? What are you doing, Father? F what? Father, no! No, don't! Father! Father! Hold on! What? Oh, okay! Oh! Day three, all right, three and five. Goody. Meh. <laughs> I missed words, I don't care. I'm already freaked. And you asked me to wake you. Yes, I remember. Thank you, Jim. Anytime. All right, well, I, hmm. Go, let's go watch TV. The <laughs> first thing you do when you wake up, watch TV. This morning, in other news, Michael Chisholm, I'm sorry if I say that wrong, solicitor, okay, you know what, read it on your own, I know I'm not going to be able to read that. Mr. Chisholm was found to have hanged himself and a ruling of suicide, whoa. Sorry, what? 
What? I, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm intentionally not reading all this. What the hell? So, what? Police are hoping to acquire the key to the Fomera in order to investigate, but the location of the key was known only by the person who died. Course! So what? We're just screwed? Is that is that the point? We're just screwed. We fucked. I'm getting messages I really don't want to get right now. Shut up, phone. I will turn you off if you send me another message. Okay, well, um, looks like nobody's coming to find us. Yeah? Huh? Uh, I've already been in here. Okay. Bye. Let's go this way. Oh, you. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. Upstairs. Ugh, man. Can I get in here, please? Books. 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 Hey, it's not doing the glitchy, glitchy, glossy thing anymore. Hey! I just noticed this now. I don't think it's been doing it the entire episode, but eh, whatever. Go downstairs, trail bite! Fine. Just don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Hello? It's probably gonna have me talk to everyone for- What the hell? How did... Yeah, it's mine. How did my car get in here? Did you bring me here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard, and there's no way into the front yard. Maybe someone's trying to help us. Probably. Maybe. I'll go and find the others and let them know about it. Sure. Great. Great. Cause uh Great. My lockpicks are here. They must have fallen out of my pockets while I was getting Shouldn't I have been able to leave? I'll hide on emergency pick in the lining of a okay. I'm not even giving myself a chance to read this. Sorry. Uh don't any windows open this so locked. All right, fine. Use lock. Use lock picks on door. There we go. Okay, what was the point in that? Let's open the door now. Pickaxe. Why do I have the feeling you just set me up for something horrible? Whoever did this? Can't think what... Alright, fine. Big X. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? That'd be wonderful to know, you know. Jim just leaves to tell everyone and he doesn't return. What the frickin' hell? Hi! Philip? I... You know what? You, you, you just stay. You do what- you, you, you do what Philip's do. Hello, Philip. Leave me alone, cat burglar. Fuck you! I was gonna talk to you this episode, but- Fine! 
Fuck you too, bitch. Uh, anyway, I'm actually going to leave this episode here, yeah. So, yeah, we're really getting in now. I don't even know if I want to know what's going to happen next. I, 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 anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any ideas for any other games that I could do, just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely consider it. But in the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.